it going ladies and gents Reverend Saint back again with another video for you guys today and we're gonna be talking about the division yes I know it's kind of been a while since I've even mentioned this game uh, and the reason why I'm bringing it up is because of this new update update 1.2 uh, is coming out we're gonna talk about what's coming in this update and also why I haven't been uploading about division why I haven't been really streaming it or even talking about it and the reason why is because of all the glitches that are in it the bug abuse the players that are playing it have just abused bugs in the game and have gotten such crazy good gear really easily and really fast and I refuse to do that to me that's cheating it gives me such a crazy advantage over other people and it's not fun to me and these players are going into the dark zone and just wrecking everybody and it bugs me man and I refuse to do that especially because I don't really play with too many other people on PC really because that's where my main character is at so I have to match make and when you match make for the incursion 90% of people want to just do the bug or, 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 or glitch it or cheese it or whatever and they don't want to play with somebody who's not going to do that and I don't want to do that so they end up just kicking you anyway uh, so that's why I haven't been playing it but they're fixing the issues with it they're they're taking care of it finally uh, and then they are also adding this update 1.2 and there's a lot of stuff in this update as far as PvE goes and one big PvP update uh, so we're gonna to go ahead and get into this man the first thing that they talk about are the Rikers are basically taking over this area that the LMB used to have which if you guys don't know the story the LMB are called the last man battalion and they're basically the big the big baddies of the story and uh, the Rikers are another rival basically gang I guess you could say and they're taking over their area and seizing their assets and weapons and stuff like that and this is possibly a new area the way the guy words it it says take the area back which kind of makes it sound like it's either an area we already have and we're taking it back or it's a new area altogether uh, so which makes me kind of interested and excited I really hope it is a new area but that also means new missions possibly now there is a good chance he could be referring to the incursion that we're about to talk about here in a second but I really want to believe it's new missions new area and that is just freaking awesome to me so I'm really glad about that it, it's new PvE content so I don't have to worry about getting killed by other players in the dark zone and I can still have fun and get some nice loot and possibly level up if it's a new area you never know it could be a level increase I don't know we don't know yet uh, they probably Probably would have mentioned that though so I I don't know I'm kind of on the fence about that one so next thing up is the new clear sky incursion this one has to do with the Rikers the last one uh, was with the LMB this one is with the Rikers so hopefully it's a little bit different because I did think the original incursion was kind of boring because all you did is go in there in one room kill a bunch of guys and blow up an APC and that was it obviously it was hard and you got awesome loot but that was it so I'm hoping this incursion has a little bit more to it uh, than, than that one so I'm really excited to try that one out and then we got new gear loot obviously gear loot <laughs> new loot obviously in the form of gear sets from the incursion and other high, new high ends and stuff like that but the stuff that they uh, really emphasized was these these three or four gear says one's called final measure it says it's a diffuser type class so i'm assuming that's kind of like a uh, a crowd control it's someone who's going to disable enemies basically uh which is cool you know and then they got the lone star uh which is a survivor class which is interesting to me that sounds like it's going to be the healer class or possibly a self-healing class that just makes yourself heal super good and other other skills that'll heal you really good so you could kind of solo some things a little bit easier that sounds really cool to me and then we got the predators mark it's the striker class it he's holding an lmg you know this dude's doing a ton of damage uh uh, he's got some high DPS. You know he's going to be the guy. He's the tank guy. He's going in and getting everybody's attention. Next, we got the Hunter's Faith. This is a sniper class. I really don't need to go into this at all. It's obviously, it's, it's for snipers. <laughs> done and done. That's probably what I'd end up running because I love snipers and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's that. That's cool. But they're also adding this, which makes me really excited. I like the idea of this. Is named high value targets, or they call them high value targets. I added the named part because there are special targets and special bosses 
throughout the world or throughout the PvP or PvE area that you actually go, you get a mission to hunt these guys down and take them out. And obviously, with this update, you probably bet they're going to drop some good loot, some good, some good money, possibly some Phoenix here. credits. That's Back really cool to me. It's basically like a bounty board, and I like that idea of adding it as in its own separate thing for high value targets it's almost like little mini bosses just hidden throughout the world now they kind of had this before but they were just walking around you had no missions to go take them out really you just kind of found them and then did them uh, so i'm really excited to see them coming back and now here's the big one and i want to talk about this one a little bit uh more in depth uh, this is the pvp update it is called extraction hijacking and basically what this is is and i guarantee you you've all thought this if you've ever been extracting stuff from the dark zone you've been paranoid that first there's somehow some way some other player because is going to run up and somehow get your loot off of that rope that is about to be extracted i know everyone thought this i've thought this and I don't like that idea, but they're adding it. They're adding the ability to run up, cut that cable, and drop people's loot onto the ground. It obviously makes you become rogue, but that really makes me paranoid, man. It's really going to make me kind of probably avoid the dark zone a little bit more, at least taking loot out of the dark zone. It's going to be a lot more difficult, and I guess maybe that's because there's fewer people going rogue for actual good reasons or for the reason of getting loot there's people who go rogue just to go rogue man nowadays so maybe that's why they're adding something like this or because it just straight up makes sense you know in, in the as far as canon goes in this universe but i don't know i don't like it it's it's gonna make me really paranoid in the dark zone more so than i already am i i just it's gonna be a rough one in the dark zone man i don't like this update but there are some upsides to it, man, because the Dark Zone is supposed to be, I don't want to say scary, but scary. You're supposed to be scared for your life in that area. You're, you're supposed to be scared of whenever you see another player running around that that dude's just going to decide to up and pop you and start shooting at you, and you're going to get yourself into a fight, and you're not going to want to die, obviously. Uh, so that's very interesting to me, that aspect of it, but... I don't like it. I don't think they should have added it. But anyway, that's it. That's all that's in this update. I think other. I think all together it's going to be a pretty awesome update. And if they fix all of the issues, you guys can bet you're going to see a lot more content on The Division on the channel and streams. Because uh, I have it on PS4 and on PC. I'll probably switch to playing more on PS4 because I've been having troubles uh, streaming it on PC all of the sudden. I did that 24 hour stream and it was perfectly fine on high settings. And then I tried to stream it on low settings the other night and it's just not having it. So I don't know what the issue is, but I'll probably just switch over to the PS4 uh, because it'd be a lot easier. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this update. If you haven't been playing it, will this possibly bring you back to the game? Does it make you want to play it a little bit more? It does to me, but I want to get your guys' opinion as well so thank you so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends and i'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another video peace